Ew. Who? Is that you? By Claire Helen Welsh and Nicola O'Byrne. Lenny the lemur was on holiday in South America. He had found the perfect spot for a sunny summer snooze when all of a sudden the wind picked up. A horrid, stinky smell wafted under his nose. Ew! Who? Oh, is that you? He glared at a millipede crawling towards him. I don't think so, the millipede replied. But I do let out stink when I get scared. Like this. The millipede curled up into a spiral and squirted. Lenny gave the squirt a sniff. It was definitely disgusting. But it wasn't the whiff he could sniff. Lenny closed his eyes and tried to put the smell out of his mind. But a nasty nip hung around. Is that you? He said to the stink bird nesting in the mangroves. Sorry, said the bird, a little embarrassed. I do make a little bit of pollen. It's all the leaves I eat. Lenny gave the stink bird a sniff. She was definitely pollen, but it still wasn't the whiff he could sniff. There was a rustling in the grass ahead. So I want my sunny sleeping spot, thought Lenny, moving back into the sun to continue his snooze. But out ambled an anteater. Who? Is that you? Lenny asked the anteater. Are you the horrid smell interrupting my snooze? Maybe, possibly, I mean, I do stink. But have you asked the skunk? He's way smaller than me. How rude, called the skunk who was playing in the hollow. Lenny gave both the anteater and the skunk a big sniff. But neither was the whiff he could sniff. He settled down in his sunny spot to try and snooze, but it was no good. Whatever it was, the nasty nip was getting right up his nose. Pooh! Was that you? He asked a tiny stink bug clinging to a leaf. Well, you did frighten me, the stink bug replied rather crossly, and well, that makes me smelly. But when Lenny sniffed the bug a second time, he realised it still wasn't the whip he could sniff. I need some fresh air, Lenny said, holding his nose and climbing higher. But up in the treetops, the smell was stronger than ever. Pooh! It was you, wasn't it? He said to a sloth lounging in the branches. Here's the whiff that I can sniff. The sloth wasn't bothered at all. He replied slowly. I knew it, said Lenny excitedly. It probably stops other animals from eating you, doesn't it? Like the skunk. Said the sloth. You see, by the time I get sleep, I am already dirty again. That greenish tint you see on me is algae. And it can cause quite a sting. Yuck! Thought Lenny. But he wasn't interested in the details. He just wanted to sniff the sloth and nail the nastiness. He took a deep breath and. You do stink! But it's not you 
tried it, and you were completely fed up. Have you tried the giant pelican flower? Said the sloth. He showed Lenny the way. And eventually, a little time later, when they finally arrived, Lenny leaned over the plant and took a deep sniff. It was definitely the worst thing he had smelled that day. But the giant pumpkin flower was not the way he could sniff. Poor Lenny's sunshine snooze was ruined. The other animals gathered round him. What's the smell like? asked the monkey. Maybe we can help, said the stink bird. Well, said Lenny, it's musty and stuffy and a little bit icky. It seems to be hanging around me. The millipede and the stink bird took a deep breath and looked at each other and giggled. <laughs> Lenny? Me? He can't be. He carefully sniffed his wrists and shoulders. Be you! So it is. It was me all along. Happy that he'd found the source of the nasty nip at last, Lenny set off for his sunny summer spot with a spring in his step. Now that he knew it was his own if he could sniff, he didn't mind the nasty nip at all. Wait! called the stink bird. What do you use your smell for? Watch this! said Lenny. I think I smell something. Nah, I'm gonna have a shower.